Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend. It is the end of Sunday already, so Monday is right around the corner. I know, I know, I know, but we still have some crazy cool crypto news to cover just before the weekend ends, hopefully. And yeah, to start it off here, I want to quickly tell you guys to check out the Growth Masters Academy. I made this channel for you guys, all right? No ads, no referral links, no nothing like that. I just made it purely to educate you guys about other ways to make money outside of crypto to hopefully buy more crypto. So go ahead and check it out. I made it specifically for all you guys out there. Uh, and also, guys, we are giving away 250 XRP if we can get 1,500 likes in 24 hours. So make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you comment something down below as those are the only three things you need to do to enter. Having said that, ooh, been a crazy damn day. And there's something really important I need to warn you guys about. If you're already very familiar with cybersecurity and, you know, not falling for scammers, click a couple seconds ahead. But for all you guys that are still afraid of it, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, if it looks like me in the comment section telling you guys to text a number or telling you I know an investment guru or something like that, it ain't me. It's not me, and these guys are out there doing this 24-7 with 100-plus comments an hour. So if you see that, just report it and say down below there, say scam or something like that. Something like that, or watch out for this guy, or warn others. Just do something along those lines. Second of all, don't press any links you don't trust, or don't press links that have been shortened, all right? Specifically those ones. Third of all, these huge 1 billion, 100 million, 1 $100,000 giveaways, they don't exist. If you think they do, you maybe are looking at the wrong thing because they don't, all right? They don't exist. It's never really free. They don't do that unless you're entering the lottery, but then you're still paying for it, all right? And the same thing is kind of happening with these with these bigger scams. I mean, still lottery, so to speak, because, well, you're sending some money and you have a chance of getting something back. Only well, the chance is, uh, you know, a little bit smaller than the lottery, but maybe not as, not as much smaller. You guys get the picture. It's just a lot more money that you're sending away. Have that in the back of your head, all right? People are out to steal your money, and or especially right now, they are looking looming. They're using the comment section. They're using everything, Twitter, Discord, everything to steal your stuff. So please, out of the bottom of my heart, I don't want you guys to get thiefed or scammed in that sense. Please watch out, all right? Please do. That was my quick little warning. Then, some cooler stuff and some nicer stuff. I've been, I've been talking for a couple of hours now about freaking predictions from every every big guy out there, but I guess Dan Held, Kraken's Dan Held, classified Bitcoin as gold 2.0 oh, and envisions Bitcoin closing down the market cap gap with a price tag of at least $288,000. So it was kind of fun. I really have seen a huge amount of, yeah, actually a huge amount of these articles coming out right now talking about how high these prices can go and stuff like that. And I've kind of disregarded them. I don't really talk about exactly why they think such things because I found that these opinions, they don't really matter. They all have an incentive to talk about higher prices and aren't we all hoping for them? Yet, this has been happening for years right now. McAfee has also said we'll reach $1 million by X and X date, which we didn't and which we probably won't do. And so he has to eat its own either Bullocks or his own shoe. I don't remember which one of the, or maybe his own, uh, you know, his other thing down hanging right there below. The thing is, though, you don't have to trust these guys and you don't have to go out from their opinions. And I, I just personally wouldn't trust them too much. Because if they're saying these types of things, they're most likely incentivized or they're just doing this for attention or something like that. Or maybe they believe that at the bottom of their heart. Doesn't mean it's justified. Doesn't mean it's really going to happen or anything like that. So don't waste your time. I've read at least 100 of these over the last couple of months here. They don't matter. They're never really right. They don't really have good fundamentals. They're just portraying an opinion, which might be a little bit nice to know about because he's an authoritative figure. In the end, though, I mean, his opinion is not worth as much as one of those, you know, huge trillion dollar guys like um, the guys from BlackRock, for example. So it can be disregarded to a certain degree. However, okay. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm not a native English speaker. For you guys all commenting down below. And you might say, hey, man, you speak English quite well. Nobody says that. They do, all right? I, I see a lot of those comments saying, speak better English, you freaking idiot, and stuff like that. There's still a lot of them out there, so I just want to make clear, it's not my first language. I appreciate all your support. I get it. But still, I'm just putting up the disclaimer. So you guys hopefully are not as harsh on me. 
All right, Kirk the Bitlord here said, just sold everything, goodbye everyone, which I think is a troll, I think is a cry for attention, but still sparks in me some, huh, spark, still sparks in me some, some questioning, like why would you say something like this in such a time period unless you're really doing it? You know, is it really just for attention or is he just selling to buy back cheaper or something like that? He's a very well-known guy in the crypto community, yet... Since he got into 2012, or he got in crypto in 2012, he might have a lot of it, and he's all in Bitcoin, he says, which is not always true. He kind of changes that mind on that uh, quite a lot. I kind of wonder if he's just trolling everybody for followers and attention, or whether or not he's just planning some bigger buy strategy or something like that, because it could also be that he's just rich enough where he's like, all right, I'm out. Because I think a lot of people out there that have bought in 2010, for example, if you have, let's say, 15,000 Bitcoin, and right now we're at 20,000 bucks, you can literally just be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to cash out. I'm done. I can just live on my own here in the freaking, I don't know, uh, your own island that you can buy and you'll just hang out there for the rest of your life, never thinking about money again. But then again comes that generational wealth and that greed that kicks in where people always want more, which I get though, because, well, if you predict Bitcoin to be bigger and bigger and bigger, you're not going to be selling everything. You're just going to be either cashing out for what you need or just maybe even keeping every single penny in. Because even us, all right, guys that have been here for maybe a couple of years, we've already increased our BTC portfolio or even XRP portfolio by at least three times for most people out there. So with that said, again, if you bought anywhere in the last couple of months or many places over the years, your average XRP price could have been easily below 20 cents, right? Easily. Having said that, and with that in the back of our heads, which is really deep in mind, we could have already cashed out because we've three times their money, but we're not. Because, well, we have a longer term vision. We think the price is going to be going up like crazy. So why would you sell? On the contrary, we also must make sure that our greed does not take over. And that's again why I've made that dusty tracking sheet, which I'm not showing here today. Uh, just letting you guys know that those things are so important that you have your cash out put in place. Otherwise, you might cash out where you don't want to, right? I've had I've had those things before where I, I had that urge. Of course, I can always stop myself from actually selling, but I have that urge of, you know what, I can just cash out and buy back cheaper, eh, and then I consider, no, not my plan, not going to do that, because you can risk the biscuit, or you can't risk the biscuit, because you might end up with more losses than you wanted, uh, and, and, and the little bit of profitability is not going to be worth it, so I don't try to time the top and stuff like that. XRP Ledger daily new account activations dropped by 83.5% in the last two weeks. The point here is, well, we made a huge... Huge new high of about 8,068 new account activations, which you can see right here. New high, I shouldn't actually say, but a new high number in the last couple of years. And it just dropped very much significantly right after that, which may be because that day we hit a new high in XRP for the last couple of years. On another end, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that people right now are not transacting XRP because they want that airdrop, right? They want the spark. And so there's no real use in making a new account or, or, or moving value unless you have to take your money from an exchange and put it elsewhere. However, since Coinbase is now also on board and literally almost all exchanges are, and if you have it on Ledger, you don't need to move it anyway, why would you be moving money right now if your XRP goal is higher, so you're not really planning to sell, you're not really transacting XRP because you want that spark, you're not really selling, you're not, even if you're buying, it will be added to your account, so it's not like you're going to open a new account or anything like that. So, yeah, what I, what I thought about that, I, I just find this quite logical to happen and I don't think it's a bearish sign at all. Uh, some people might see this as something very bearish because even now, accounts should have gone up. I don't think so. I think it's very logical that accounts that are being opened right now are going down. And accounts, by the way, you can just see as different wallets being opened. Then, veteran German bank to launch crypto fund featuring BTC, Ethereum, and XLM in 2021. So, I did not see anything about XRP in this one just yet, but a lot of you guys said cover more XLM, so I'm trying to do that. This is a very big spike for them, a very nice thing to see. Very, very happy, however, eh. This initiative mostly targets institutional investors and high net worth individuals who can fork a minimum of uh, <laughs> 200,000 euros towards investing in the fund. Oh, it's a lot of money. As for the charges, the bank will impose a 2.05% investment fee, the industry average, which I personally find the dumbest thing ever. If you're going for mutual funds, you better sure make sure you have something great, because if they charge a 2% management fee or investment fee, you got to understand that even if you make losses that year, it's still going to be deducted, all right? I'm very much against mutual funds, have been forever, unless they're like a 0.07% like a kind of passive 
passively managed fund, like where it's like a tracker or something like that. I just cannot get over the fact that these guys, maybe because I'm an econometrician, right? So, you know, you, you know a lot of actuarians where you know how the system works and you know these guys have calculated the fact that you'll most likely make a lot more on your own because, well, they, they're going to try get you a better return. It's not always possible. Maybe it is. But they have money guaranteed of whatever happens, so it doesn't really matter. They just want to look good to get more money in, of course, but it doesn't matter for them how much you make depending, of course, on what type of hedge fund or what type of system you're working with. Some, of course, take a percentage of your profit. But in this case, you understand that these guys take this fee mostly because they're actively managing, but also mostly because even if you lose, doesn't mean that they have to lose money, which also, again, once more shows they're not quite sure of the craft. Otherwise, they would have only taken a percent profit of your profit. You guys get that? If they were sure... 100% sure that they would keep making money, they would have just taken a percentage of your profit all the time instead of a percent yearly fee that you're going to have to pay every single year for active management. Because, again, you guys consider what I've just said here. I just really am against those. And I, I think it's not going to matter for these bigger players because they're just heavily invested in it anyway. And I know a couple of guys that have funds which make so much money that which also have a minimum of like 100000 200000 250000 where it's worth it, but you got to really, really look after it because if they were to just buy, for example, BTC, Ethereum, and XLM, which you can do yourself and they don't actively trade it or something like that, then what's the point, all right? The only cool point about this is the same as with buying stocks with a bank, which you can do sometimes in the Netherlands here. There's just a huge fee for doing it. It's just that your stocks are a little bit safer because, well, they're officially registered by the bank. So your name in that bank is, is known for having those stocks, so it's a lot safer, but it's not like you're going to get yourself a good deal. And the same for if any of these companies are buying crypto. It's not like you're having a good deal. It's just you are kind of safe that they will hold your crypto. You don't get hacked. You don't get any of those issues. But it doesn't mean that this is a very good thing. In the end, though, this is just more adoption for crypto because these guys may also be becoming another grayscale eventually. They're officially called German Bank Hauk and Auf Aufhauser. Yep, that's the name. Nice one. $20, our XRP price forecast for 2021 is underway, which I kind of feel like they also, you know, take the same ideology that I have, because uh, I see a lot of the guys in the comment section say, Dusty, your price range for 2021 or for XRP is about 20 bucks, I get. I get that question quite often and that uh, analysis quite often as well. So these guys, I've, I've said before, Investing Haven, very bad website because they mostly built their things upon thin air, I find, whenever they're doing a price analysis. However, again, you, you may find it differently. I, I've read in all of these articles where I'm like, okay, I, I shouldn't be going out from their idea. However, if you scroll down a little bit here, they do have some basis. It's not like they're completely dumb, but check this out. The first quote that our premium crypto member received goes back two years in time, which is always like, if you want to know about this, check out our premium article right here or check out this thing, that thing, yada, yada, yada. And I don't like that. Here, a lot of this stuff I personally find is built upon thin air because a lot of these things don't influence the price. The bigger things you should be thinking about here and, and really should be thinking about here is what will change for Ripple in the next year. Because we can talk about what's good for XRP. We can talk about what people don't understand and stuff like that. But that doesn't really necessarily mean that XRP will go to $20 specifically. All right. We're just saying, okay, the price might be going up, but why 20 bucks? So again, once more, I must clarify here. They do give reasons for XRP price to go up. Don't get me wrong. But $20 specifically is, in my opinion, kind of taken out of thin air. Uh, but they've also not shown a chart here, which it should be in, but I cannot see it for some reason. Maybe because ads are blocked and these are all considered ads. I do not know. Hmm. Let's quickly re refresh here. Maybe we can get a chart in then. No, we cannot. That's a very weird website then. Very strange. But you guys get the picture though. I personally think $20 mostly for the idea that right at that area, I think 20, let's actually quickly check it out here. If we were to go to trillion, uh, $1 trillion market cap, it is 20, oh, let's actually, should I do the math perfectly here? One trillion. Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm, I'm too stupid to do it on real recording. Let's do two times 40, right? So we have to do 60 cents times 40 as well. And it gives us about 24, 24 point, uh, whatever. I don't have to do the, 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 the decimals. It's $24 ish or something like that. I so think that is possible in such a short time span, because I think crypto, you know, the whole market cap is maybe like 7 trillion or so in like a, a year or two, right? Again, I, I know this is a little bit short on time, my, my time span, but I still think it's really possible because I think next year will be so much, so heavy investing that 1.5 trillion is going to be, you know, a very easy feat. 
So I'm thinking, you know, maybe end of the year, maybe like three, four trillion at maximum, maybe six, seven trillion with XRP being close to one trillion dollars. And again, that's why I'm saying close to one trillion, because we would only need to go times. I don't even know how much exactly, but only times a little bit less than 40 to like maybe like 35 to get to this. $20 range or so and because I think you know we are maturing to go to $1 trillion but we're not going to be exactly there just quite yet this is why we're not going to be exactly at our point but we're going to be a little bit below that $24 which is about 20 again I'm pretty excited for that you guys can calculate that little exact stuff yourself I don't really care it's about a general gist of it right which you guys hopefully now have then Ripple is addressing multi-trillion dollar market with digital asset XRP I told you guys about this a little bit earlier Brianna Madigan let's uh, Ooh, let some statements out saying we are in a super early stage while it's promising to see huge institutional investors and large fortune 500 companies putting their treasuries into cryptos i've talked to you guys about what exactly it is she said with some direct quotes and my personal analysis of her statements comes down to the idea that she recommends people to go heavy into crypto but also specifically xrp because of the use case that it has even though of course she doesn't necessarily say hey you know xrp <laughs> hint hint on your shoulder I do think she does point towards it and with rightfully so. All right. That's the easiest thing I can say. Rightfully so. Then we got some more. But guys, I think that's enough for today. All right. I'm just going to recommend you guys to check out Webull. A link is in the description below. It's a cool exchange if you just want to exchange money and kind of be safe about it and also get four stocks for free. Uh, but I think you get two stocks if you make an account and two more if you deposit 100 bucks. So check it out. See if it's something for you. If it's not, just quit. You know, I don't use it, whatever. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Enjoy it, everybody. Have a nice one. And um, hopefully tomorrow is going to be a big day for crypto. Sometimes Monday is a very heavy day. All right, let's watch.